There is a woman who goes by the name of Nikki Minhaj or Min, Minhaj or something like this. And she's a black woman, okay? And she's a, a rapper or she, she sings in these, in these songs. In one of her songs, she says, Assalamu alaikum, where, and then she utters an expletive, is Akbar. Assalamu alaikum, where the F is Akbar. Now, Ikhwani, how does a Muslim, how does a Muslim who fears Allah, who follows the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when he hears filth like this being uttered about his deen, about Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, how does anybody who has Iman in his heart, how does he continue to listen to this filthy donkey? How do you continue to listen? Where has your Iman gone, my dear brothers and sisters, that when she utters something so pathetic, you continue to listen? And yet you just bat an eyelid, but you continue to listen. As Muslims, we love what Allah loves. We hate what Allah and His Messenger hate. Indeed, this is hated to Allah. This is hated to His Messenger. And yet we don't even, we don't even bat an eyelid. And we will follow this woman and she will be like our idol. Other words of kufr in Bollywood songs. Those brothers who watch, listen to Bollywood don't think that you're off the hook. We have women dancing and there's music, and they're semi-naked. And what are they singing? Subhanallah, Subhanallah. If anybody has watched a traditional uh, Indian you know, wedding film, they, this is the type of music that they put in the background. You know, they show everybody eating their lamb and their drumsticks, and in the background they've got this man singing Subhanallah. I don't even think he's Muslim. Subhanallah. Yes, Subhanallah hi amma yushrikun. Glory be to Allah above what you associate with Him as partners. Why? Why are we as Muslims allowing this? Why are we watching it? Why do we have our children next to us and they are watching it? Where the great scholars of the past, the great people of the past would say, stay away from music because it increases the heart in hypocrisy, the way water causes the vegetation to grow. Mixed in with this, music is the music videos is the music videos, women dancing naked, women dancing naked. And it's like SubhanAllah, you know, you sat with your parents and if it's an Indian song and they're speaking about filth, everybody's watching it and the whole family is watching it. The second, it's a white woman and she's wearing the same clothes and she's doing the same thing, suddenly becomes a Astaghfirullah and turn over to Sky News. SubhanAllah. Ikhwani, what is wrong with us? What is wrong with us that when it comes from our own people, we accept it. When it talks about Allah, we accept it. But when it is something that we don't necessarily like, we don't, it doesn't agree with our whims and our desires, then we turn over and it becomes Astaghfirullah. We need to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Another thing that they mention is this lifestyle. We have this, the, from the same record label as this donkey, Nikki, whatever her name is, we have this man and he sings about YOLO. YOLO. This is a principle which is fundamentally, diametrically opposed with the Aqeedah of Islam. This man, he's actually a Jew. He's a black Jew. And he sings about YOLO. You only live once. And this is what they are feeding to our brothers and our sisters. This filth. You only live once. Go out and enjoy your life. You only live once. There is no accountability. There is no Yawm Al Qiyamah when you will stand in front of Allah. Yawm La Yamfa'u Malun Wala Banun. Illa Man Atallaha Bikalbin Salim. There is no Yawm Al Qiyamah. The day when wealth and children will not benefit you. Subhanallah. So, this is what is being programmed into the mind of our brothers and sisters. Programmed into the mind of our brothers and sisters. Do what you like because after death, you are not going to live again. This is kufr and this is against the aqeedah of Islam. We have 50 cent. Get rich or die trying. Get rich or die trying. In other words, make the dunya your Lord who you are trying to please. Make the dunya your aim. Don't make Jannah your aim. Make the dunya your aim. Get rich. And if you have to die whilst you are trying, keep going that way. Keep going that way. Ikhwani, this is just some of 
this type of the lyrics and some of the, the, the content of what they are speaking about. They make the dunya glitter. They make the desires glitter. So when we see the nice cars, when we see the Bentleys and the Ferraris and the Lamborghinis and we see the nice women and we see the houses and we see the boats and the buildings SubhanAllah, they make everything glitter they make this lifestyle glitter but by Allah, this lifestyle remember everything that glitters is not necessarily gold remember that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala has surrounded the hellfire by whims and with desires and Jannah is surrounded by hardship and by test and by things that require our patience.